Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator. And we are still in Estancia Lapacho in Paraguay, obviously. We are not going for anywhere anytime soon from this map because this map is absolutely gorgeous. And we have got so much stuff that we need to do, it is just ridiculous. So we are, we're, we're going to keep going with this. This is our very last load of wood chips at long last. We've been waiting for this. So we'll just get the back trailer there just loaded up because it's, it's doing some very crazy things. There we go. I think that's loaded. There we go. Has everything loaded into there and then we can start dumping a load into this trailer. Yep. Start emptying that one out. Get that little log and that log. Right, that is all of the wood chips. Well, it's all of the logs are now being smashed up and crunched up and put into that. So we can take this one down to the yard once that is finished. We're going to need to start this one up over here. I'm just looking on the back of this tractor to see if we've got the weight for the tractor on the back. No, we don't. Uh, where do we have the weight? Oh, there's a tree stump there. I must not forget to grind that one up. We will get that one. Um, so, yeah, this tractor over here, we could actually run that one back down to the bottom of the map. Um, the bottom of the map and back to the yard uh, very soon. Once this one is done, uh, it's now done. So let me just jump into there. And we will lift that one up. And we can fold it like that. We'll switch it off. And we'll also just switch that bit off as well. Right. All done. We can come back to you in a bit. And we'll take you. And we'll take this one and put it over next to the um, the other wood chip thingamajiggy over here. The, the, the blower. And we'll start loading this one up. And then the next couple of episodes, we'll be able to just finish this off. Which is going to be... There's probably going to be another four or five loads. Well, actually, I don't even know if it's going to be that many. It might not. It might may not be four or five loads. We'll have to wait and see. I'm curious just how many it's going to take to fill this one up completely. It's not going to be all that many, I don't think. Um, we'll wait and see once we've gotten through this a little bit. Go through there a little bit further. Um, right. This is this is the bit where it sort of goes starts to go horribly wrong. Is that it won't pull off of these properly. It won't pull off of this bit properly. Right, I think that's actually yeah, that's that's completely full. So I need to switch that one off now. That one can go back there. That's all done. And we've got our load of wood chips for the day. So my question for this week, our combine has broken down. Therefore, we are going to have to lease a combine for the harvest. Which combine would you like me to lease? Would you like me to lease um, the large massey ferguson one right there the large new holland the cr 1090 right there this john deere one over here the t670 or the versatile the rt490 right there it's your vote it's your game head into the comment section down below let us know which one you want and why and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner which of those four combines would you like me to use for the next harvest because our main combine, the John Deere one that we own, has broken down and we are not allowed to use it for the next harvest. That is our random event for this week. So we go racing back over the sawmill and we will empty out this lot. And then we're going to go and we're going to do a little bit more plowing on our main project that we got up here. So we do need to do a little bit. We're going to do a little bit to that each day until that project is all finished. And this is the, I feel this is the best way to do it. We can we do a bit each day. You're not going to get completely sick fed up to the back teeth of it um sick of it um and so on and so forth uh we can keep things moving forward and i'm sort of thinking that this may be a good way to approach new big projects because that way we actually get to do big projects because you know the one problem with doing let's plays is that if you want to do a bigger project in a let's play you've either got to repeat the same thing for several episodes in order to complete it or you've got to do masses and masses of it off screen which I, I've already explained to you why I don't like doing that um, and for those of you who don't know long story short I don't like doing loads of it off screen because it kind of defeats the object of doing the let's play what is the point in me spending hours and hours and hours playing the game myself if I don't get to share that experience with you. The whole point of the Let's Play is for you to see and experience the Let's Play with me. We, we, we are playing the game. We're, let's play this game. Let, it's not, um, you know, let uh, you know me play and then come along and tell you, oh, well, I did that and I did that and I did that. Right, see you next week. Um, to me, that, that's not how I want to do things. Um, so, yes, this idea of a little bit each and every episode of a main project and then doing something else as well 
I really like this idea. I'm, I'm starting to get more and more into this idea. So this is what we're going to keep doing. So we're, we're almost done with the wood chip, so you won't be seeing much more of this. Um, but for today, I feel that we've been doing a lot of work. We've got things mostly ready. We've got, uh, we've just got to get our combine and that done. There's only one thing, actually, that I was just thinking about. Um, if I look there and I go to, so, yeah. Do I, I think I need to go and get some spraying done? So I'm not sure if I can do the spraying immediately or if I've got to. Let me just, I'll tell you what, we're just going to hop over here a second. I'm going to take a look at, oh, no, I don't want to look at that one. I want to look over here. Um, have we sprayed this field? I can't tell if there is spray on the ground or not. If we run this way, there was a, a patch of this field that didn't actually get sprayed. And I can soon tell you whether or not we currently have spray. I think we currently have spray and we need to let it go forward one growth stage. Yes, we. it is currently sprayed. We've got to let it go forward a growth stage before we can actually get any more on. Because we've got to do these fields down this end and the main field before the harvest. That is going to make it a little bit more difficult. But, I mean, the harvest is up here. we got that harvest ready to go. This harvest down here has got a little way before it's uh, it's quite ripe. Um, the beans there, they're really ready. We, we, we could get started on this. I'm not going to. I'm going to let everything all ripen together and then we're going to do it. I realize it's not quite what we want to be doing. It's just the way the game has worked, it's mean, it means that it's kind of um, panned out that way, which um, we can live with that. We don't mind. We don't mind a little bit of inaccuracy so long as we allow for it and we sort of say, well, we acknowledge that this is inaccurate, um, but we're going to you know gloss over it because of so-and-so. So that's why we're glossing over it, because I'd like all the harvest to sort of be together. And the speed that we did the planting and the, the way the game um, mechanics work with um, things growing and so on, it kind of staggered the growth stages a little bit, which is, is not ideal, but it's okay. We, we can live with it. We'll leave the truck parked up there with that tractor ready to go. And we are not going to do any stump grinding today. We're just going to do a bit of plowing. We're just going to try and plow a lot of this section up through here. So if I just lower that one down into the ground, I realize I'm going around the corner again. And that's quite a sharp corner I'm going around there as well. It's not brilliant, but still. We'll soldier on through it. Um, oh, there is a little bit. Sometimes we can sort of, like the plow will go through the stumps. And then other times uh, you definitely have to go with these. The, the palm tree ones, you do have to tent. You, you, more you have to go more around them than you can just go over the top of them whereas the other type of tree we can go over the top of them the red hardwood that's over near the sawmill though i've no idea how that one would respond because we haven't actually done that one yet so th there's the three different types of tree on this map that all seem to be unique to this map i've not seen any way of reproducing those trees on this map i think you are just that's one thing that we are going to test before this series finishes we will try growing some more trees and we'll see if it's um, see if they. Uh, I suspect it's just the um, the conifer trees that come at the, pi the um, pine trees, um, but it would it's it's good to just double check these things and just make absolutely certain because it's, um, it's no good making never make assumptions about anything. Always always check and test everything. Never make assumptions, and that way it's um, you're 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 a lot safer if you do it like that. Um, so today I'd like to do a little bit of the plowing, and then once I've done the little bit of plowing. I'd like to take a break. You know, we, we've been working hard. Now, we did have a little bit of a cruise around in our ca um, our convertible, our caddy. Um, but, you know, we, we, that was only a very, very short pleasure cruise. So I'd like to go and I'd like to have a little bit of fun today. And that's the plan. Once we've done this, I'm gonna I'm only going to do a little bit of this because um, we've, we did quite a lot the last couple of episodes. So I'm, I'm going to sort of reduce the amount that I do today and um, spread it around a little bit. Um, oh, uh, right, there's a stump there somewhere. I'm not sure where, but if I just lift up, maybe I can go over the top of it. Apparently, I can't do that either. I don't even know where this stump is. Where is this? Oh, it's because it's not the plow that's doing it. It's the tractor has hit the stump. And the stump is right in front of the tractor. So if I lower the plow down again and I do that, wiggle around it like that. There we go. Right. So yeah, as I was saying, we're only going to do a little bit of this one today, and then we will take the John Deere tractor with the um, the stump grinder shredder type unit thing on the front. We'll take that one back down to the yard um, while we travel back down there, and then once we've done that, we're going to go and do a little bit of playing. There is something that I've been wanting to do for quite a long time. I've had the mod there ready and waiting, and it's one that we have used before. We've definitely used it before. 
But I figured that why not? We could bring it out again. It's, it's been in retirement for a while and we haven't used it. So it'd be really cool if we could bring that one out of its retirement and have another little go with it because it is a really cool mod and it is a lot of fun to use as well. I'm not sure if anybody has got any clue what I'm talking about, but um, you may have been able to guess. I'm not really sure. Um, in fact, you know, I, I, now that I'm talking about it, I really want to go and do it. So I'm just going to stop that one there. I'm not going to do two Two strips is enough. We, we worked hard on that. We've done a lot this week. So let's just go and grab this one over here. Um, we have to keep jumping because we can't see through the underbrush. Um, there we go. And right, grab the tractor. Now, I don't tend to fold this one up. Uh, well, not the spout. Mainly because it does this. Oop. No, it would help if I actually... No, I don't want that one. I want that one. There we go. If I fold that one up, it tucks himself right inside the tractor. And it's highly unrealistic. I mean, once it's done, it does... It, it's, it's very much in the wrong position. I don't like the way that it does that. It's, it's kind of stuck in really the wrong place. It's got the, the spout. is stuck right down on the ground. Generally speaking, I just don't think it looks very good. So I, I do tend to keep that one out. I tend to keep it just sort of like that. And um, if you do, like, you go to fold up and then you reset it again, it will set itself back to above the tractor rather than any other position, which is a good thing. Um, yeah, we do need, like I said about the fertilizer, we do need to... We actually need to go and get some fertilizer from the shop. We need to bring that back and then we can um, do some spraying with it. But we're not ready... Ooh. Well, that field is actually ready to go. That field doesn't have anything on it. You can see there. I don't know what the corn field over there, the maize field, is like. Maybe that one's the same. But that one doesn't look like it's got anything on it. Let's just go over and check this field. The other field of canola, that one is definitely... No, that one, this field here, this corn field, this has definitely got some bits on it. You can see right there from that little line right there. Um... Yeah, let's let's not worry about them. We need to we need to let it go forward another growth stage, and then we can go and we can spray all three fields. We get them all at once. So that we'll do that at the beginning of next week, and then we'll be ready to move on and start our harvest. I think actually, yeah, um, we can we can start doing the beans, and then we can go forward another growth stage to just like finish off. I think something like I'm not quite sure. This be, it'll be something like that, right? This bad boy right here. I'm thinking that now I do actually have to fold it away. Um, but I'm thinking that this one and the other, the stump grinder, not the, the the mill type thing, we can actually put both of these in the corner of this shed here. It's not going to take up a load room for it. And it seems to be an excellent spot for it. So if I do that and then you do have to lower it like that. And we can come out and then I can unhitch it. So I need to press Z to take that one off and then Q to take those off. And that will sit down there. I know the end of the spout is sticking in the ground at the moment. But again, it's something that we can live with. So we'll bring that one over here. And I'm going to park this tractor right next to our sprayer over there. So that one is ready as well. There we go. Right. Tractor is there. That's all done. And we're going to head off to the shop. It is this one right here. The Can-Am ATV Apache Track. I would like to get this one now. It's $17,000 to buy, which I feel is a tad expensive. So we're going to go for the $1,399 right there. Okay, back out, and we're going to have a little play around. I'd like to take this one, and I would like to go up onto the plateau up there and see what I can do. So we've got this one right here, Alaska Fluffy on the back. It does actually, you can take a trailer on this one. I've never actually tried to, I don't think I have. Have I or not? No, I don't think I've actually tried taking any trailers on this one at all. We might do that at some point. Let's, well, we're not going to do it today, though. Today, it is all about just having a play on the plateau can we get up here first we can now there is a mod that you can get that you can basically reset a vehicle when it tips over right on the same spot but i don't have that one active at the moment so the uh, the one downside to this um machine is that it does this and it does this an awful lot but what i do have and i apologize we are going to be using this one today um, is I do have this and this will put things back up right so I can just do that and it will put it back up right for me so yeah we're, we're just going to be using that one today and then we can have a little play so the first thing that I want to do is I want to jump off of the edge of the plateau so we're going to do that first we're going to take it over this way and we're going to watch and we're going to see and see if it does anything interesting yeah it would probably help if we had somewhere a bit more interesting to actually jump from let's go back the way that we came 
that seemed a little bit more entertaining as it's steeper so if we go over that side uh, I'm go weaving in and out of the trees a minute we go back over that way. We're going to have a little exploration. We're going to drive down into town and we're going to have a look around town because we haven't really had a good look around town yet. And there is, it is really, really nice, the town. I really do like it. And, oh, oh, no, no, no. You really don't want to do that when you're driving one of these. It's, it's generally quite bad for your health. So let me go back onto there and just reset it a minute. Excellent. It's so cool being able to use that. That teleport mod is brilliant. And it is one that's on ModHub. You can just go and find it. It's really, really easy. Just type in teleport. Um, teleport might be TARDIS. I don't know. It's got a picture of the TARDIS on the front. I think it's just called teleport. Something like that. Um, you know, I honestly don't remember now. No, stop. Do oh. <laughs> okay, that was actually pretty cool. I did not expect it to do that. The one thing that I am seriously disappointed with on this map is that we cannot go over this bridge. What are you doing? Really? You can do a full somersault coming off the plateau up there, but you can't go up onto the road. That's just sad. That That's just sad. Right, um, let's do that, and then I will do that. There we go. And make that small again. There we go. Right. We can go over there, We and we will. We'll go over that way, and we'll have a look a little bit later. But um, actually, no, I don't think we'll worry about that one. But no, the bit that disappoints me is this. we got this beautiful, great big bridge over here that you could possibly use as one of the best ramps that has ever been created. And we're not allowed to go on it. We're not allowed to drive up that road. See? They've put this in a way. Such a disappointment. It really is. I don't know how far we can go alongside the water. We can actually go right up. I think we can go right up to the water. You can go up to the very edge of the water. And you can drive in, but you cannot get onto the bridge. Maybe we can try walking on the bridge. We'll do that. Let's just come over here. I'm pretty sure I've already tried this, and you don't actually get very far. So let's just stop right there. Um, you know, we may be able to get. A, let's let's just see how far we can walk first. That that that's it. It's as far as we can go. Right there. See, that's it. So disappointing. It really is. It's really, really so disappointing. That is. Okay, we'll ignore that, and we'll come over here and carefully come over that bit, and we're going to go into town. Now, I know that we did... We've already taken a bit of a look around town, but I, I wanted to take another look, because we haven't really explored the town very much at all. And I figured that this was an excellent vehicle for using for exploring the town. Now, you've got eggs you can sell there. I think... I don't know what else you can sell there. Let's just take a look on the map a minute, and... See, oh, it's the bakery. Ah, I see, right. I do love the fact that it's actually one that you've got to back into because 99% of all sell points in this game, you just drive over. So you can just get a huge long road train and go over them and you sell them. That one, you have to back into it. There is no other possible way of getting through. Right, so we're going to go through the, the back roads here. Let's take a look and see what is on those posters. What have we got? Um, rural... De Granadiria. I'm not sure what that is. Association Rural del Chaco. Um, well, something to do with a, a, an agricultural association, I'm guessing. Buena Musica Buenterrera. Terrera? Terrera? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, club Palmer. So apparently the club seems quite good. The club is banging. We'll go there. I don't know where the club is, but we'll see if we can find it. Apparently it's banging. Um, what else have we got? And then you come into the town, so you, you sort of... I love the way that it's... I've, I have talked about this a lot. I have talked about the contrast between, like, the the, the, um, the, the... the different contrast in the town, the difference between, like, the, the really nice bits of the town and then the slightly run-down bits of the town, or the, the really run-down bits. It's such a strong, high contrast in the game. Um, I have talked about how much I like that previously, so I'm not going to go banging on about it too much now. We can't go into these buildings. That is a shame. I would like to have gone up there and seen what it would be like to live in that building up there overlooking the town with that wonderful, wonderful view. That one over there would also be very cool. Either of these houses would be brilliant. I could live I could live in these houses. I really could. We'll come over this way. In more towards the town square itself. Imagine living there. Imagine that is your home and you've got that balcony there can sort of go all the way along you can sit wherever you want on the balcony you can look over and you can see the promenade here 
with where you can just go out and enjoy a peaceful walk up and down sunlight and you know the trees a fountain in the middle and then some moron whizzing around on a quad bike really okay the, the, the moron whizzing around on the quad bike is probably not um, adding to the ambiance very nicely at all but uh, we'll ignore that it's a shame that the fountain is switched off the fountain could do with a little bit of work they, they haven't done anything to the fountain for a while it needs cleaning and then it could do with being filled up with water and switched back on again but you know other than that this place is really really nice um, a lot of work gone into building this place and I also really love the, the pavement all the way around I don't know is it a promenade is it when it's done like this I, I genuinely I don't I think it's called a promenade when it's done like this but it looks really cool and you don't see this very often in the UK there are places where it's done um, this um, nice uh, the patterning of the pavement just to sort of uh, beautification of it um, but the actual road of pavement and that that you walk on it does seem to be quite rare that any kind of beautification attempt at all is ever done to the paving. It tends to just be concrete, tarmac, or um, paving tiles that are laid down in a fairly mundane pattern. More like this over here. This is, this is more what you'd expect. Um, and this up here, this this the the light and well, the the lighter colours and everything. It really I don't know. There's something about it. It's, it's really really quite nice. It is quite stunningly beautiful as far as I'm concerned and I would like to see it more in my country um, it's a constant source of disappointment for me, it really is and then we come back down here and we've got the the, um, the rougher part of town look at this look at this, just be careful what you're doing around here um, I don't know if it's just that it's you know, you, you genuinely you, you look down and you do this in the I do this in the UK as well, you look down a street like this and you think to yourself is this just a poor part of town or am I likely to have my trousers stolen from me as I walk up through here without me even realizing my trousers have been stolen you know is, is it that kind of crime ridden area or is it just a place that lacks money and investment and it's still you know probably far safer than the, the shiny part of town because the shiny part of town they'll steal your trousers but they'll do it with a smile on your face a, a smile on their face and they'll compliment you while you do it. Whereas in the poorer parts of town, if it's going to be a crime-ridden area, then it's definitely going to be one of those um, situations where uh, you know you're being robbed. Whereas, um, yeah, so that's 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 my little theories on right. Apparently, we can't kick the ball. Can we pick up the ball? We can kick. We can pick up the ball. Let's see if we can get a goal. We haven't played football yet. Go on, right through. Seriously, okay. That's that's about the limit of my football skills. Do we, do we get a, an achievement for it? No, we don't. I was hoping that we'd get like an achievement or something like we did when we first played basketball. There we go. Although I did handball it, so um, this is probably not the, the way, not the done way. Perhaps we'd be better off. I, I'm pretty sure I would definitely be better off just sat over here watching the other people play football. Um, except that I really don't like watching football. I, I have absolutely no interest whatsoever in football. Um... So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll ignore the football and we'll ignore the football pitch and we'll move on and we'll take another um, a bit more. What are we going to do? Let's go back around town a little bit. I'm just going to go once more through the town and we're, we're not going to do very much through the town because I've already been looking around here for like five minutes and that's probably enough. We've, we've flogged that dead horse for long enough. We'll go out here onto the docks and we'll see what we can do out here. Um, oop, okay, well, I, I don't want to go into the docks like that. Uh, we'll come on around here. We'll see what we've got out the front. We can come out this way. Can we drive right out? Yes, we can go right out the front. Okay, it does look pretty nice out here. It does look pretty cool out here. I like the way that it's all laid out. It seems to be fairly easy to sort of work around. Um, and it's a nice open sort of fronted area. Now, can I can I get out here? I don't know if I can. I don't think I can. Can I squeeze through? It's it's tight. No, I can't. I can't quite get through there. I'm stuck, trapped permanently in the docks. I will never escape again. That way. There we go. Oh, okay. Uh, let's let's try that again. There we go. Nailed it. Easy. And so the the I, I did want to go up over this way outside of town. I wanted to go and take a look over this other bridge over here. I know that we have sort of looked up here before. Um, but no, I want to head up this way because what I'd like to do is I'd like to take a look at the old ruins that are up there. And those old ruins are actually really cool. 
I've looked at them a little bit, but I don't think I looked at them all that much in the in the Let's Play. You know, I'm honestly not sure. So we're going to go up there, and we're going to take a look at the ruins. Right up by... They're, they're not very far away from the pigs. That's where we're going to be heading now. So we'll just go out across this bridge, and... I like this bridge. It feels a little bit safer than the one we've got up by the pigs. That rickety old bit of timber, where you're absolutely certain that this is going to be the last journey that the bridge will ever support. There's another piece of the plateau here. I'm guessing that this is... Well, I don't know if it's the same one that's sort of been cut through with the river. Or if it's a, a whole different area, I'm not really sure. But I like it up here. There's another one of those little huts there. I'm not really sure what those are for. I'm guessing it's just kind of a, a, a brief shelter of some sort. There, there's probably supplies in it of some kind. I'm not really sure. Can anybody who lives in South America tell me... It, it's Those huts, there's a couple of them around. They just seem to be like randomly dotted about. With no real purpose. Is that a thing is is there something like that around but they do actually serve a purpose it's just they're not properly it's not properly addressed in this game or is it just like completely random and, and nothing whatsoever and um, i personally i don't really know but I, I would love to know about that now these ruins here that i'm guessing i'm i'm guessing if it is 100 guesswork but there was the the spanish and portuguese conquest of south america um, you, three, four hundred, well, uh, like four hundred years ago, wasn't it? Um, up until, I think it was like two hundred years ago. It may, it may have been less than that. I'm guessing this is to do with Spanish and Portuguese. This is, um, something to do with them. You've got a prison, you've got an old fort here, and it was like, it would have been like a, a site of military importance. I don't know much about any of the symbolism. I don't really know what I'm looking at here. I know that it is a ruins, obviously. We, we, we've established that much. Um... The bricks and everything suggest that it is too new to be much older, um, a much older civilization than that. So I would say that this is something to do with Spanish or Portuguese. But which one, I don't really know. And I don't know the significance of any of these. Um, these look like small crosses that are put on, which would very strongly suggest either Spanish or the Portuguese. Um, but I... I genuinely have no idea so if somebody could enlighten me on this i will try to remember and then i will fill you in next time round. because you've got these small structures here you've got these small buildings on the side which you could easily be barracks it could very easily be barracks you've got a couple of these going between each other like this and so you've got a room here where people would sleep and then probably a room here where people would you know um have food and that um maybe not even that i mean it might just have been for some families to live and then you've got the the big main halls here now this this particular room seemed with the columns and everything it seems a little bit too fancy to be like a mess hall um i would guess maybe that would have been intense outside so maybe this would have been um so something else entirely i don't really know this i'm just guessing here. i'm going on what i'm looking at here i'm saying that this is an old fortress and so maybe this is like the main hall where you know planning would have been done generals would have spoken and um taken guests and things like that I'm not really sure um and then you've got kind of the main entrances because they did try to make them look grand that's that's my guess is here on this that does it anybody that lives in south america have i got anywhere even close to what this might represent here i gen personally i don't know but this is my guessing is is what we this is what we've got here um, but it does look really cool. Just come into here and we try and climb up onto the walls and we get a better aerial view of this place. We run down this way and we'll see if we can get another view up that way. See? It definitely looks military. It de I, I, yeah, sort of mil military classed with... Well, cro military approach. But also it's sort of crossed with um, appearances as well. So it's, it, it would sort of have been an important place. Um with a garrison stationed there. Something like that. I don't know. It's, it's not all built for defences. A lot of this is decoration rather than defence. You can just by the way that it's laid out. That over there looks like a prison. That definitely looks like a prison. But this here, this looks like um, decoration as much as defence. And I'm genuinely not sure what it would have been. Um, what it's supposed to have been. So yeah, I would love to hear your suggestions. Anyway... I have gone about as far away from farming as I can possibly get in this episode. We are going to head back to the yard now. I know, I know that we did have an ATV, so that's farming related. Um, 
we're going to head back to the yard and we're going to um, just make sure that we've got a few things ready back there. In the beginning of next week's episode, we're going to be going and we're going to be getting some fertilizer from the store. So we're going to need to take the big trailer down. We're going to get a few pallets of liquid fertilizer for that and we'll be using that when we got to work two fields of canola we will do the field of um sugarcane as well so we've got two fields of canola a field of sugarcane and we've also got the field of um maize to do the field of corn maize i'm not sure what you call it um I, ju I think that it can be either or maize or corn i don't think it matters to be honest anyway um, we've got that, so we've got to go and get the fertilizers ready to do those three fields, uh, four fields, I should say. And then once we've done that, then the next job that we'll be doing is we'll be doing our combining. Which brings me very nicely onto the weekly question. Which combine do you want me to use? We're going to be doing our combining, and we've got to hire a combine. We've got to lease a combine because our own combine is broken down. A random event for this week. So do you want me to lease the Mass Ferguson Delta 9380? That one right there. This one here, which is the New Holland CR1090, we've got over this way, we've got a John Deere T670i, and we've also got this versatile RT490. I don't know what this versatile one's going to be like, and personally, I'm very curious about that one, so I'm, I'm going to tell you now that, you know, you've already had most of the other, ep you've had the other episodes this week. I'm hoping you pick this one, but I suspect you won't. I already suspect I know which one is going to win, but I'm hoping for this one over here because we've never seen it. We've never done anything with it. It's different. So I'm hoping that you go for that one. Um, but anyway, it is your vote and it is your game. So you can pick which one do you want. Do you want the Massey Ferguson, the New Holland, the John Deere or the Versatile? It's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. The other thing that I would like some suggestions for. Now, I've already told you that I'm planning to plow up this little area here and we're going to plant it with grass. Um, after we've done our big main job up the top end of the map. So we've got those two jobs that we kind of need to work on. Why am I bringing the ATV back here? I'm probably not going to use it. I'll keep the ATV for now, but we could very well um, like return this one to the shop and stop using it. I'm not quite sure because it is going to cost us $1,400 per day, which is tad pricey, really, when you think about it. Just bring that one in there, and we'll park it up there. I need a tractor. Actually, does that that tractor there ought to take it? Let's undo that one there, and we'll jump in here. Um, yeah, the the ATV. I'm, I'm so I'm trying to talk about two or three things all at once. So the ATV, I'll, I'll think about that one. I don't know whether we'll keep it or not. But um, no, the the main job. Once we've done that little bit next to the cows, and we've got a bit for grass there. Is there any, like, major jobs you'd like me to work on? Is there anything in particular you'd like to see me try and do on this map? And I'm, I'm talking about a big job, because the, the, it's the big jobs that um, kind of make up the series, I feel. Um, it, it's the sort of thing that we work on as we go through and do all of the small stuff in between. We, go, we do all the other regular farming tasks. We kind of want something that we can work on as well and like um so we've got a big project so that we're genuinely making a big impact a big change to what the map is like when we started that's what i like i like to be able to go at the end of a series and say look at what we've accomplished look at what we've done rather than just running through regular farming tasks over and over and over and over so that's what i would like to do with this series i would very much like to have a big a, a series of big tasks that we're working on as we go through, such as, you know, building all these sheds and everything here and putting the concrete down. Is there any big jobs that you would like to see me attempt um, for the rest of this series? Um, if there is, then obviously comment down below, let us know what they are, and um, I will take a look at your suggestions and I will see what I can do. But that is all I've got time for today, so if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like, and if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me, get them to come and watch as well, that would be awesome. But until next time, Thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.